Hi, I'm Mike Edwards. The website is diydoctor.org.uk um, and we're down at Orchard Lee Golf Club in Somerset looking at the Mountfield SP164 self-propelled lawnmower. Um, now DIY Doctor, as I've said in a number of videos, builds houses. Um, we don't know a lot about gardening or lawnmowers and hedge trimmers, etc. So when we do, we come down to Orchard Lee um, Estate and in return some, for some maintenance work that we do, we get to, uh, to talk to people like Dave, uh, uh, the head greenkeeper down here at Orchard Lee. Um, and he runs through the, you know, how good this equipment is. So the, so the advice we give you is coming from professionals all the time. Um, and Dave's pointed out a couple of things on this lawnmower that, that actually make it very, very different. Um, we're going to demonstrate it in a moment, but um, we can see if, if the cameraman can, can pan down here to these little levers here, that the, both of the front wheels um, are independently adjusted. So we can raise the height of the blade simply um, by moving this lever up and down. Dave will demonstrate that later on. And we can do that independently on the front wheels. And on the back wheels, um, they're, they're not independent, but, but one lever will operate both, both back wheels to raise and lower the height of the, height of the blade. Um, so that's one, one unique feature. Dave's going to talk about some more. Um, but first of all, he's going to, he'll run through the operating um, process. One thing that I would point out with this lawnmower is, for anybody thinking about going and buying the Mountfield SP164, it doesn't come with any oil. Um, we're rather disappointed that a number of the tools that we buy um, and demonstrate don't come with any oil, they don't come with any chain oil, if it's a chainsaw or whatever. Um, so you get your box and you're looking forward to mowing the lawn and you read the instructions and you can't use it, you've got to go down the garage and buy a can of oil. Very disappointing and for the amount of money that you spend on this gardening equipment you'd think they'd supply just enough oil to get you started but they don't. So uh, be wary of that when you go and buy it. Um, Dave's now going to start it up and demonstrate it, talk you through the starting procedure and then we'll mow a couple of strips and come back and look at some of the features. Over to you Dave. Okay. Right, on the initial start up in the mornings, or at any time you use it, you've got one primer button here, which you just depress three times. You then hold in the operator presence control bar, which lets the mower know that you're still there and doesn't let it run away with it. And one good pull. If you were to let go or fall over or slip over or something, you obviously release this bar, the engine would shut down dead and shut the mower off. Um, upon start up, once holding that in, this clutch bar then is now depressed and away we go, as you'll see. And this is a, a self-propelled lawnmower, so presumably that means that the engine drives the wheels as well as the blade. That's right, the engine yeah. drives the wheel as soon as this clutch is pulled in, away you'll go. Okay. It's a very manageable speed, it's not too fast, it's not too slow, right. so you know, it's very... It doesn't fast. put too much pressure on you then when you're mowing no, the lawn? Okay, and that, so that's a double safety device really, I mean if you let go of those, not only is it cut out, but it doesn't go anywhere. That's correct. Okay, yeah. that's cool. So are there any other features? I mean, we'll drop the wheels in a minute and we'll do another cut. Um, but are there any other features that, that you want to tell, uh, talk about? I mean, the, what about the bag release? That's always... The bag release is fairly simple. Just one handle, up. Oh my word, yeah. And yeah. there you go. Um, the bag has to be assembled, which is basically this steel frame that you see. Just clips around with these plastic clips onto right. the box, onto oh, the right. bag itself, and away you go. Again, empty in it. And reinstate it, it just goes over two little lips. Oh, that's easy there enough, isn't it? There's no, not a problem easy. there. And it comes with a very, very strong plastic um, base to it. Yeah. Which. And how long did it take you to assemble? Very, very quick to assemble. Assembly is basically two screws, one down here, 
on the lower handle part and these two bolts holding the top handle part together and that was it and there you are away so top straight out of the box and providing you've got some oil, got for some oil <laughs> you can use it straight away That's okay right. excellent and is it just petrol or two stroke or it's straight petrol straight petrol because you're putting oil in the engine yep. itself okay so no need to mix it brilliant Okay, and plenty of labels, plenty of safety labels all over it. Plenty okay, so labels that there's no oil in it. are we recommending this? Yeah, I mean it's very comfortable to use. Yeah, it doesn't lack on power going up any sort of banks or not. Okay, I mean as you can see, the grass collection is very good on yeah. it as well. Yeah, absolutely. On this wet day. So, okay, yeah, brilliant. Very nice little so there we go, that's another, another DIY doctor recommended tool. Dave's going to lower the blade, uh, we'll show, show that being, being done, um, and do another couple of strips, um, and that'll be it from me. But um, the, uh, the Mountfield self-propelled lawnmower, um, available on Screwfix, um, and the professionals say that they recommend it as well. We'll let you get on with it, Dave. Okay. I'm just going to drop it down another couple of notches now. If we're simply pushing the lever away, and allowing it to drop down on itself to the desired height. Which now is at its lowest height, so we'll see how it manages with that through the grass this part. 